Now, your local weather with Chief Meteorologist Jared Floyd. Four o'clock update in from the National Hurricane Center and Tropical Storm Gordon is still just that, a tropical storm. Uh, mere hours away from landfall along the northern Gulf Coast. Kind of an asymmetrical storm. Southerly shear has kept thunderstorms from really wrapping in on the southern half of uh, Gordon throughout the course of the daytime hours. But the Florida Panhandle has just been lashed with heavy rainfall uh, from Panama City all the way to the state line and now into Mobile Bay where conditions will continue to deteriorate as we head through the overnight hours. Colder cloud tops all associated on the north and eastern edge of Gordon. Maximum sustained winds at 70 miles per hour with a small window of opportunity to still reach hurricane status before landfall later on tonight or early tomorrow morning. Current heading northwest at 15 miles per hour. The big uh, indicator is that we will expect a tropical depression, Gordon, along the Mississippi Valley early tomorrow afternoon. But a slow and forward speed does keep Gordon or Gordon's remnants in the area for quite a while Wednesday into Thursday. And that could also keep the rain in the forecast and some tropical moisture. So again, a flash flood watch has been issued for portions of the Arklamas, uh, mainly the River Valley, Mississippi Valley. That includes uh, the river parishes and portions of southeastern Arkansas. Two to four inches of rain possible with some locally higher amounts in those areas. Elsewhere, one to three inches seems to be a little bit more of uh, a pretty safe bet. 73 for a low tonight. Clouds continue, but the rain chances will hold off regardless of what Gordon's doing uh, uh, along the Gulf Coastline. Could see a few stray showers toward daybreak, and then the showers really roll in tomorrow with afternoon high in the upper end of the 80s. Gordon's impacts still felt through the daytime hours on Thursday and then indirect impacts from Gordon through the weekend with scattered storms hanging on and highs in the low 90s, morning lows in the low 70s. So an unsettled pattern will keep rain chances in for the next week or so.